All right, so I'm gonna be trying charcoal roasting with directly on the charcoals, some onions. In this case, I'm gonna be doing some Vidalia onions. Right now, I've just got my charcoal chimney going, getting my charcoal good and hot. I do have another video on this, actually, if you wanna see how that's done, if you're not sure, but uh, basic charcoal chimney. And uh, once that's done, I'm gonna spread them out, set my onions on top, and try roasting them. These coals are extremely hot. It's actually kind of hard to move these around where I want them. But I'm trying to get them in a somewhat decent grouping, close to one another, so that they... Whew, man, that is hot. You want your charcoals gray like this. See if I can move some of these over. Very, very hot. That's pretty good. So I'm going to drop my onions on top of that. Alright, so there you have it. I've got three pretty large, pretty large onions. It's hard to tell, but this is a pretty good size onion here. I'm going to set it in here, right on top of these coals. There's one. There's two. There's three. I'm just going to set them right on top of those coals there. I'm going to shut this lid. I've got one vent, if you're familiar with a Weber grill what this is. I've got one vent open on the bottom and I'm going to leave the top vent cracked. And we'll see how that goes. Alright, so that's my idea of cracked. Over at the top I've just got a little bit of air inlet there. And down here <clears throat> I've only got one of these open. That's the only one I've got all the way open. The other ones are shut. So, we're going to see how that does. Alright, so it's been about 20 minutes. I'm going to pull this lid off for the first time. See how we're doing. Hang this over on the side here. There they are. I'm going to, uh, move these around a bit, reposition them, turn them, flip them, etc. This giant one. Definitely cooled down from what it was, but it's still warm. Look at this. So I've kind of repositioned them a little bit, flipped them around. So you basically just tried to turn them over best I could. You can see these things are sizzling in there pretty good. Okay, these have been on here for about another 20, oh, three minutes. So they've been on here probably a total of 40 minutes altogether, 45 minutes. And take a look.
see if we can turn these again. Turn that on its side. I'm probably going to put these in here for another 25, 20, 20 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes, and uh, see where they're at. Yes. All right, it's been about an hour total altogether. So there's another 15 minutes or so. We're going to check these out. He's pretty good to me. Look, I'm just barely pushing this knife. It's pretty good. I think they're probably done. Alright, so there they are. I brought them inside. They're sitting on this plate here. Pretty charred. I'm just going to work the outside off with my hand, just kind of peel it off and get to the inside. I'm going to peel off as little as I can. Basically, whatever's black, I'll peel off. Black, gray, until I get to the good good inside. All right, so I'm going to peel this off of here. Throw it in the garbage. It's hot stuff. Cut it in half. Probably gonna have to mute this one. You're all crinkly with your mitt there. Yeah, I can. Yeah, Micah. Sure, but you can't put it in because Papa said no. Alright, so I basically threw them in this glass container here and used a pair of scissors to just kind of cut them up. Drop quite a bit of butter on top of them. Salt. And we're going to try them out. All right, so there you have it. I got some onions and some uh, 
pressure cooked pork, pork butt. Onions are really buttery and I tried one a little bit ago, pretty good.